Good morning, Ron. How are you? I'm doing great, Ken. How are you? Hey, fantastic. Thank you very much for meeting with me here this morning on video to, uh, to review um, your, uh, your incredible success in minimal time um, utilizing High End Client Program and, and LinkedIn. Um, just super, super honored, first of all, to be working with you. And uh, most of all, um, very excited over the results that, uh, that you've been getting. Um, so with that being said, thank you very much. And by the way, I'm coming to you live from beautiful exotic Cincinnati, Ohio. May not have palm trees, but I believe you do in your neck of the woods, right? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm overlooking the intercoastal waterway in uh, beautiful Palm Beach Island uh, right now. All right. How's the weather? Uh, it's about 94 degrees and uh, pretty sunny. <laughs> uh, I've got 60 degrees and a slight mist going on out here right now, but so much better than other parts of the country. That's so that, uh, that is fantastic. So Ron, um, you've closed 11 or 12 deals, 10 or 11 deals. I forget the exact number. Um, you're in the insurance industry. Uh, a couple commissions that stand out right now are one for $27,000 commission and one recently for $35,000 of commission. Uh, and uh, then several other pretty decent sized policies too as well. So that's what I want to talk to you about today because sure. uh, the insurance industry, they need our help. So we want to tell them, you know, how you did that and, and not dive into like the nitty gritty details, but um, to, to say that, um, you know, that it's not that difficult on this thing that we call the interwebs, right? <laughs> and no, no. LinkedIn because the clients are there. So can you just start off by giving us a, a, an overview of your business? And I know you have different um, arms to your agency or agencies uh, and what you've built, but maybe give us a 10,000 foot overview, um, who you are, where you're located at. You know, uh, I know you write a ton of home policies too as well. Um, just give us a little bit of background, please. Sure. Um, I've been in business 27 years. Um, we started out as a health insurance agency uh, and we used to do just tons and tons of transactions, a lot of um, uh, employer benefits and stuff, but we also did individuals. Uh, we built that up to about 15 offices from Vero Beach, Florida, down to the Dade Broward line. Uh, and then uh, the owner that we worked for at that time, when I say we, me and my brother, who own, own the agency now, uh, he, we had a bit, of, a bit of a disagreement and there were some issues, so we just started our own. Uh, and instead of starting out on life insurance, I mean on health insurance, we started it on homeowners insurance at the time. And we built that up to about close to 500 new policies a month. And we, and we renew about another 700 a month, strictly on homeowners insurance. Wow. We just created a machine uh, as far as that goes. Uh, and then I primarily don't really write a whole lot of homeowners insurance myself, um, but I work in the uh, retirement planning uh, aspect of it where um, we show clients how to uh, save a lot of money, okay? and get it all out without having to pay taxes on it whenever they decide they want to get it out. So uh, I love that part of business and that's where these big premiums came from. Oh, perfect. Love it. Um, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I know from experience, 10 plus years in the insurance industry, uh, writing the type of volume just on the homeowner side alone uh, that, that you guys do is not simple. So congratulations on your success there. And I know also from prior discussions that you really, really love, um, I don't know if you want to call it estate planning, whatever it may be, um, but utilizing life insurance as a vehicle um, to pass on, you know, um, uh, in, in a tax-free vehicle, right? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I love that for, for a bunch of reasons. Uh, primarily that, uh, you know, it's self-completing. If you don't fund it, and something happens to you, guess what? At least your family gets all that money tax-free, uh, number one. But it's also a great vehicle for deferring taxes and then getting that money out without paying any taxes on it. You know, the old conventional wisdom is, is that uh, 
defer the taxes now, take you know, your IRAs and, and those types of things, and you'll be in a lower tax bracket. Well, the problem is, is that people that have saved really well, okay, or have huge 401ks or big pension plans and things, now they're not in a lower tax bracket necessarily, or all the tax brackets are much higher because we don't know what they're going to be, you know, 20 years from now. And right. or it being 19 trillion in debt, chances are they're going up. <laughs> so that conventional wisdom doesn't work anymore. So, you know, I talk to people, I say, listen, why don't you, you know what the taxes are now, pay the taxes, then put the money in and don't pay, ever pay the taxes on. And, and it works out very well. It seems pretty, pretty appealing to me, especially, you know, being a business owner and uh, owning multiple businesses. I mean, that, oh, I can tell you, I have a, I have a pretty decent sized one in place myself. So I obviously believe in it. Um, you know, anytime uh, that you're a, an insurance agent, uh, especially on a life insurance side and you own your, your product, especially after you've been out of the insurance industry, even though I'm still licensed. Sure. I probably keep those for, for quite some time. I keep doing my continued ed, all that great stuff. But right. um, I, I still have, a, 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 well, that's a sizable policy um, that my family depends on, right? Yeah. And, uh, and it's part of our estate planning, uh, which, is, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I believe um, wholeheartedly in what you do. So um, that is, uh, that's awesome. Let me ask you a question. For the larger policies, these, these individuals, business owners, maybe, um, it's, uh, maybe it's CEOs, maybe it's executives, whoever it may be. What have you tried before the high-end client program um, that didn't work? Uh, well, you know, we tried all the traditional uh, years ago. It was mailers and, you know, all the traditional type marketing. Um, cold calls. Yeah, cold calls. Uh, well, that was years ago, but <laughs> <laughs> you got too big too quick. Cold yeah. calls went out the door years ago. There's a saying: you never see a lineup of guys waiting to make cold calls. You know, waiting for the phone to make cold calls. Nobody likes to do it, and anybody that likes to do it, I'm a little leery of their. Uh, <laughs> what is it? There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It is definitely an art, and well, I did it. You know, I used to buy this, uh, there was a special program out that had um, habitational, you know, uh, uh, basically apartment owners across the country and property management companies. And I could access different cities since we were active in like 47 of the states. And um, I, I did it and I taught my people, you know, how to do that um, pretty assertively and it worked. Um, was it the most time efficient thing that we did? Um, no. Was it emotional? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was definitely emotional. You you don't know what you're getting on the other line. Are they going to be happy? They're real estate owners, right? They own multi million dollar properties or portfolios. Um, some own hundred million dollar portfolios. So yeah, not the most pleasant thing um, that uh, that I've ever done. So you were you were utilizing traditional methods, um, not methods typically that you could just grab the laptop or your iPhone and and uh, and and you know do from there pretty quickly from, you know, engaging no, with them. And, and most of them were, ex were, were fairly expensive. We, we would, uh, we invite a, a bunch of, you know, business owners or whatever to go on. Uh, we had access to this 46 foot boat. So we'd have them out on the boat and wine and dine them and everything. And then, you know, you pick off one or two just talking, but uh, not real efficient either from a, from a cost standpoint. Um, right. Sounds fun though. Oh, it's a blast. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll uh, come down on the 46 foot. Uh, and, and, and Sounds like cool. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah, but, but again, not real efficient. And we, we use that. That was one of the ways we built our homeowners business by, by bringing out mortgage brokers on the boat and then getting them to refer just literally, we get hundreds and hundreds of referrals a day. That's why we're able to do so many of them. Oh, that's, uh, that's awesome by the way, um, fantastic uh, on that part. Um, so with that being said, the 11 or 12 uh, policies that you've closed, I mean, they're all fairly sizable, but the two that stick out are the $27,000 commission and one was $35,000 commission. You know, part of probably um, what's in everyone's mind and you that's watching this right now 
is um, how much time it took you to do that. Because, you know, being business owners and owning an agency and having policy holder, holders still walk in because many agencies still get people to come in and pay their bills and want to see the face and shake the hand, that generation's still here and will be for, for some time longer, right? They're busy and they're busy running the operations of their business. So time is, they take that into big consideration, right? They don't have a hundred hours to spend on this um, a week or every two weeks or even a month, right? Um, how many hours to get those results, okay? And I just named the two largest commissions, but there's been 11 or 12 of them now. How much time do you have dedicated right now with the high end client program um, to gain those results? I'd say it's probably 10 hours or less a week. Oh, that's fantastic. So under 10 hours a week. And, and, and you've even had, since you've been in for a few weeks now, you've even had some down weeks because you've had other projects that you had to take care of. Because I remember there was a point in time that you had even a few weeks that you kind of just paused it and um, handled a couple of projects or renewals that were coming up because I mean, once again, you're a business owner and then boom, you're, you picked it back up. Um, so end of the day, you don't have a lot of time invested to get really targeted. And, and at the end of the day, not just leads and not just clients, but, but actually high end clients, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it, I mean, it, all of those came from basically what you teach in the four questions. I mean, the, the great thing about it is, it's, it's Friday here, okay, before a holiday weekend. At four o'clock, I can get, go on LinkedIn, I can message 25 people, okay, just with my first question. I don't even have to look at it again, because you know what? They may not respond till Tuesday or Wednesday. They give me a response, I send out the next question. And as long as you're doing that consistently, and you can turn it on and off whenever you want. That, that's what's so great and amazing about the whole thing. I got a slow week. I look at my calendar. I don't have any appointments set or I only got a few appointments. I could spend three hours messaging and guess what? Boom. I'm going to get responses and I'm going to get more, you know, phone calls. So it, it's such a proactive thing, you know, because the numbers are unlimited. <laughs> you can just keep finding more and more connections. Love it. L love that. Okay. So what, what some insurance agents and, and other service-based businesses. So, you know, not this, well, you're in the program with, you know, 150, you know, others, I mean, coaches, consultants, insurance agents, financial advisors, real estate agents, um, you know, it's all the same, you know, it's sure. very, very simple. So with, with that being said, how much fancy stuff did you need? Did you need a fancy website? Did you need a fancy, you know, opt-in form? Um, was anything no. fancy or is this no. simple enough that, that anyone could do it? You know, even, you know, the, the 70 year old that doesn't even like to use email, could they do it? Anybody can do it. It's, it's like typing an email. It's actually less cumbersome than typing an email. <laughs> you have the question set up, you cut and paste them into the message thing and you hit send. And you wait, you know, as long as you're sending, some people respond right away. Some don't respond for a few days. Some don't respond for a few weeks. But as soon as it pops up, as long as you're checking them, they respond, you go to the next one and you, you, get, you get the phone calls. You get them finally set up on a phone call. Perfect. Perfect. And the foundation that you built um, prior to, you know, getting the, 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 you know, the first sales call set, um, would you consider, you know, that simple, you know, the, the, some of the tools we supply over to you, Profile Accelerator, you know, some of the, even in just week one, would you consider those actions that you took in week one to build that foundation to support your efforts in booking those, those calls? Um, would you consider that to be simple or was that, you know, from a technology perspective hard? No, it, 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 it's super simple. In fact, technology didn't even really even play in that. I mean, for the most part, other than what you, the technology you set up, we go in there, answer the questions, follow what you say and develop the, the, the questions and boom, you're off and running. I mean, you don't have to be a technology expert. Love it. Okay. So, uh, 
let me ask you a question. What have you found and let's just talk about the two larger commissions. Um, and I know that the ones line up right below them. Um, what have you found those individuals with the traditional methods that, uh, that you either used to use or um, that many agents still use? Uh, what have you found those exact individuals and what have it, you know, been as smooth? I, it's possible I may have found them through maybe, you know, going to massive networking events or charity events or whatever and striking up a conversation and, you know, but, but the odds of that uh, are probably pretty slim and it would have taken a lot of time, you know? Um, so really, I don't think that I would have run into those guys that own, they're both business owners. Okay. Both very, very wealthy, um, very successful. Uh, and you know, it was all just on a, on a couple of questions, uh, that they responded to reaching out to them. Cause I had targeted, you know, like you teach us the specific niche or, or, um, target market. Okay. Right. And that's who I went after. Um, and I got the responses, took them to a phone call, which now my sales expertise has to come in to play, to be able to you know, walk them through, find out what, what was going to be right for them. And we did that. And at the end of the day, they, they saw that it made sense and it was the right thing for them to do. And, you know, we closed the deals. Fantastic. Love it. Um, so thank you. Uh, back in my, my days in the insurance industry, uh, one of the things that I was, I was very fortunate to figure out on my own, by the way, because Sales managers didn't teach me. I understand that the support that um, most agencies have, is, especially the um, exclusive agencies, because I ran in that space a couple different times at the very beginning, um, is minimal, right? And uh, the, the sales managers used to hand over books of business to them, especially in the ex exclusive channels. Um, I won't even name the names, but uh, you can look up my past. I can tell you both of those companies used to do it. So you'd be a, you know, a senior type of agent and then all of a sudden somebody retires and boom, you've got their book of business because you, you've performed and you've been there from a, a, you know, from a seniority you know, standpoint, from, from the length of time that you've been there. Um, that stopped. And it started to stop for um, agents and, and agencies when um, uh, th first on television, if you look closely at like um, the commercials or if you did back five years ago, six years ago, even um, seven years ago, it went from contact your local agent or call us now, we'll put you in contact with your local agent to call us and we're gonna handle your business from a corporate perspective because now we write policies internally and we're your agent. Right. And they started, I'll, I'll shoot them straight if they, they can call me, but they started really still in the agency and agency forces business that um, they first signed on for with that marketing that was happening on TV. That doesn't happen anymore. There's not a lot of proactive marketing with the big brands in the exclusive world um, that are marketing out for their agencies. And believe it or not, this may surprise you, Ron, but the sales management are still teaching stuff that doesn't work. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Right. So one of the things I learned, you know, early on was, first of all, I loved habitational. It's not because I was a little boy um, growing up and I had a suit and tie on saying I wanted to be an insurance broker because that wasn't it. I wanted to be a superhero like a lot of other little boys. Um, I was sold into the insurance industry from a residual standpoint and then got into the insurance industry out of corporate world and had to sell like a beast in the life insurance arena to make sure that Beth and I had, well, we could pay our bills. <laughs> Because we were at income here, and then we went into an exclusive relationship with one of the brands that put us way down here. But they're like, "Well, if you sell, um, then you know you can go up here." And and we both know that you really make your money on the homes and autos over the years, right? Right. Unless you know how to bring in, you know, thousands of them very quickly, um, you're going to make your money over the years by retaining that client and and you know the residual aspect of it. So I had to sell really quick. I was, you know, uh, that's when I learned life insurance. Sure. I was like, woo, all right. So now I learned I can make almost 100% of the premium, annualized premium at one setting at the kitchen table. Absolutely. So I was at kitchen tables every night selling. So with that being said, 
with with LinkedIn um, and you know with the program because we use you know obviously other platforms outside of LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is definitely um, a fantastic um, easy platform that we you know teach you how to utilize. Uh, an average agent could go from, you know, typical four or $500 commissions because some policies aren't as large as what you have down there with the wind and all that great stuff in, in right. Florida. Um, four or $500 a year policies making $750 to targeting executives, to targeting CEOs, to targeting business owners, and, and even different niches and classes on the commercial side that could not just double commissions, but to, to start to, you know, reel in the, you know, the commissions that they deserve you know, the $30,000 commissions, $35,000 commissions. The largest one I got from LinkedIn was like a residual that paid over and over and over again, that paid over $200,000 of commission that I talked to you prior to pushing the record button, right? <laughs> um, and it was like clockwork, March 31st of every year. I was like, woo, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> we're here. So do you feel that the tip, and you know a lot of agents, obviously, do you feel that the typical agent or the typical service-based based business um, or business owner could implement the simple strategies that we show you how to do in high-end client program and not just um, propel forward with the current business, but actually start to elevate, you know, triple and quadruple the size of their typical, you know, commission coming in. Instead of having a listing at 150,000, which you've seen this in the group before, um, sure. you've seen realtors that just closed deals at 4.2 million, right? From a listing perspective yeah, right, inside of the group. Is that possible? Yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's definitely possible. It's not just possible. People are doing it. I mean, the people in the program are doing it. You know, we hear it every day. These, you know, like I just said, I highly doubt that I would have run into these cases without, uh, you know, LinkedIn and, and, and the program, the high end client program, because I wouldn't have known how to do it. I, I, I didn't even, when I first saw that, I was like, you know, I, I had been on LinkedIn for years. I never used it for anything. Uh, people would click on, you know, uh, friend me or, well, that's Facebook, uh, connect with me, right? Yeah, yeah. You click on a connection. Okay, great. So I got 500 connections. So what? <laughs> what do you do with them, right? That, that's how it was before I joined the high-end client program. Now I know what to do with them. And now I know how to add them. And I now, now I know to add people that, are going to be most beneficial, you know, for me to go to try to connect with, not, you know, like, like in my business, I don't want to talk to uh, big executives for fortune 500 companies that have 401ks and all this other stuff, uh, or, or even their vice presidents and or, or general managers, because they're getting all those benefits through the company. Um, I, I want business owners that own the business, that um and and i can do that through linkedin through the high-end client program love it so with that being said and i've only got a couple more questions by the way with that being yes. said outside of the thirty-five thousand dollar commission and the twenty-seven thousand dollar commission and all the other ones what's your favorite thing about the high-end client program my favorite thing is really you guys the calls the hands-on coaching training the fast responses, the tweaks of language, um, you know, with all the things that you show us, you, you write a first draft, we send it to you guys. You say, okay, you rearrange this because you guys are the experts on it. Uh, it's just having that, you know, I've done tons of training programs and sales programs and, and you know, you, you buy these CDs and you watch them but it's not really hands-on. And if you don't figure it out, okay, or you run into an obstacle, there's no way of getting that fixed. So what I love is that we can get on a call Tuesday and Thursday every week and I can talk to you directly, okay? And I can say, look, here's the problem. And then you have all your experts on the phone as well so that, look, we're, we know this works. You're missing it here. We'll make sure it works. And you're there for us to, to, to make sure it does work. Perfect. Love it. And we got that little mindset piece too, huh? Yeah. Oh, she brings uh, a little bit of a value too. Yeah. She keeps us all in line. Oh, she, she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you were to do it all over again, would you still invest with the high end, pro high -end client program? I, absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt. Okay. The most important question of all. And the last one. Um, for 
those of you, those that are watching the video right now, we have maybe a, one or two of them that are skeptical still about our program. Okay. And uh, that's why they're watching. That's why you're watching the video right now. What would you have to say to that service-based business owner, you know, real estate agent, insurance agent, coach, consultant, whoever it may be, that still ha is a little bit skeptical about joining the high-end client program? Well, that, that was me because I looked at your program for probably over a year, okay? I was getting stuff and um, I finally said, you know, I got to change something. I, I can't keep just, I'm, I'm uh, quite a bit older than you, so uh, I'm, I'm tired of pounding doors and, and, and all those things that I've done for so many years. And I said, I got to make a change. I realized that the uh, things were moving to the internet. I mean, just with our own business, we, we hardly see anybody anymore. It's all over the phone and, and the internet. I said, I've got to make this change now. And if, if you want to get super results, okay, you got to work, okay? It's, it's not like you, you got to be committed to the program, but everything they teach you works. It absolutely works and it will skyrocket your uh, commissions or sales or, or whatever business you happen to be in. No doubt about it, if you follow the program, uh, you, you will be way more successful than you are now. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate and um, I, I just appreciate your time here today. And we are truly honored to have you in the program. Thank you very much for trusting our program. And uh, we look forward to uh, as you move forward because you're not, you're not all the way through it um, at this point in time. So uh, we'll probably meet up again towards the end. Yeah, absolutely. See, see where we're at then because uh, we've got some great stuff cooking right now and uh, you're, you're just an action taker. So uh, we appreciate you uh, and uh, look forward to our next conversation. And thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure. You, All right, you too. Take care.